The coffee is brewing. Let's have a cup together, family. Welcome back to another episode of Content is King. Today we'll be talking about Rock and Roll Hall of Famer, legendary rapper, actor, filmmaker, screenwriter, television and film producer, and founder of the Basketball League, The Big Three, Ice Cube, ladies and gentlemen. Ice Cube has had major success in his musical career. From being a part of one of the biggest hip hop groups of all time, his solo takeover, and his acting debut. He's made his mark on music, he's made his mark behind and in front of the camera. He's definitely had an impact on the culture. But today we'll be talking about his fight for the Friday series. You see, back in the early 90s, films like Boys in the Hood and Menace to Society told stories of young black men surviving the statistics in their neighborhood. After the release of many films with these type of themes, Ice Cube and legendary producer DJ Pooh came together and decided to tell a story about the fun that went down in the neighborhood. DJ Pooh and Ice Cube began to pen a script that changed the culture and defined what a hood classic can be. This was all by great storytelling, a cast of colorful characters and people with similar characteristics to people you might know in real life. Instead of a tragic story, we got true escapism. Cube and Pooh decided to find a major film studio so they could get their film financed. Now, from what I read, do your due diligence, but they were gonna do some self-financing and they probably would've took the independent route and the first installment probably would've been in black and white just to save money because making a film at that time was very difficult. Now eventually New Line Cinema agreed to finance the film and its production. In the beginning, DJ Pooh was gonna take on the role of Smokey as they were looking for a cast that would be perfect for this film. But in the 90s, there was so much talent with Def Comedy Jam and we eventually got Chris Tucker playing the iconic role of Smokey. Ice Cube picked F. Gary Gray, music video director to direct the film. F. Gary Gray was hesitant at first. He didn't think an audience would buy him as a comedic actor. F. Gary Gray said, Ice Cube starring in a comedy scared the shit out of me. F. Gary Gray went on to explain, Ice Cube was the toughest man in America. And when you take someone who delivers hard hitting social issues and hardcore gangster rap and who has a hardcore view on politics, you would never think comedy. Well, decades later, this cult classic became magic, spawned two sequels, became one of the biggest pop culture reference movies of all time in my opinion, and launched the careers of many actors. We talking about Chris Tucker, Nia Long, John Witherspoon, Regina King, as well as Mike Epps later on in the series. DJ Pooh revealed on an interview with Drink Champs that he was working with Ice Cube once again on the project last Friday. Later that year, April 2018, Ice Cube stated, Right now, we're still writing a movie, making sure that's ahead of the curve, and not behind the curve. But I believe we'll start shooting, hopefully by the end of the year. On April 29, 2019, Ice Cube stated that the script has been completed and hopes for it to be released on the 25th anniversary of the original film. They were pushing for a date of 2020, hopefully getting everything in production. Unfortunately, in October 29, 2019, the great late John Witherspoon passed away. With his great iconic character playing a significant role within the franchise, it was up in the air. All blame was on New Line Cinema for pushing the project back for so long. John Witherspoon was actually looking forward to coming back as his character of Willie Jones. He knew how much the fans loved this character, and he loved playing the character, and he loved the Friday franchise. Sadly, we never got a chance to see him back on our screen playing the beloved character of Mr. Willie Jones. On December 19th, 2020, Tommy Lister Jr. passed away. Another actor excited to return back to the Friday franchise. AJ Johnson, another iconic actor who played Ezel from Friday, passed away in 2021. This would leave a few changes in the casting for the fourth installment of the franchise. Now, Ice Cube has went on to say that he presented Warner Brothers with two scripts, but they turned down both scripts that he had presented to them. Ice Cube has recently shared his disappointment with Warner Brothers in their hold on the project. With New Line Cinema no longer existing, Warner Brothers owned by AT&T Inc. 
own the rights to Friday. Not only is he asking for them to surrender the rights of the Friday franchise, but also all about the Benjamins and the Players Club. I hope this brother wins this fight because ownership is king. Content is king. It all started with the idea and it became a classic. This is a fight that we hope Ice Cube wins, not only for the culture, but for his ownership. We're going to end this episode of Content is King with saying rest in power to John Witherspoon. Rest in power to Tommy Lister Jr. Rest in power to A.J. Johnson. 